to you and strengthen and love you out for each other as you embark on this journey of love and happiness. Now you will receive the enrichment of this trip of God and right, so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. So in my presence and in the presence of your family and friends who are gathered here, I would ask you to shape your attention. Nor can you come here freely without reservation to give yourself to Christina in marriage. Do you love and honor her as your wife for the rest of your life? Christina, have you come here freely without reservation to give yourself to George in marriage? Do you love and honor him as your husband for the rest of your life? Those are the two questions that demanded of the governor of the state as we have to ask. Since then, it is your intention to enter into marriage. I'd like you to face each other and join right hands. Right hands is crisscross. Because you can hold your flowers until I touch your face. It's going to make it easy for you, George. Just repeat after me. I, George, take you, Christina, to be my wife. I, George, take you, Christina, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Wait, it's Christine. Yes. Thank you. I promise to be true to you. This is how much it's true to you. In good and bad times. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Remember that marriage symbolizes the end of a sharing of two lives. The sharing is never diminished, but it should enhance the individuality of each partner. A good and balanced relationship is one in which neither person is overpowered or absorbed by the other, and a lasting marriage is one in which each person develops individually while growing with love and understanding of the other. Now that you have declared your consent before all who have gathered here today, may the Lord in his goodness strengthen this consent and fill you both with joy, happiness, peace, and love. Grant to those who wear these rings, may they always have a deep faith in each other. May they do your will and live together in peace, goodwill, and love. May these rings be a symbol of true faith that both Christine and George have for each other. And always, when you look at these rings on your fingers from this day forward, remember the love that's present here today. Remember, rings are round, and they form a circle. A circle has no ending. Neither should your love for each other ever have an ending. Christine, in your right hand, would you hold this? And in your right hand, and we can put the left hand. Can you take this off? Can you let George put the two of them on? George, the wedding band goes closest to our heart. So as you're putting the rings on, George, repeat after me. Say, Christine, take this ring as an outward sign of my love and fidelity. Keep this one. Left hand, we'll put the key for you. Just say, George, take this first. This time, this time, this time. As an outward sign of my love and fidelity. Could two people hold both hands and look at each other? And I'm going to do this. Just put your hands together. Friends, look upon this ring. Friends, look upon this ring. Now join your husband in marriage.
They ask our prayers for a long and a happy marriage. Give them the grace of love and peace. And may her husband always put his trust in her and recognize that she is his equal and heir with him to a life of happiness. Forever and ever. George and Christine, by the powers vested in me, 